Is celiac disease worse than non-celiac gluten sensitivity? Well, to put it really short, no. In spite of what you may have heard or been told, it's not, and I can explain how we know that. Now, where does this idea come from that celiac disease is worse? So people who are diagnosed with celiac disease have traditionally been very sick. And why is that? Because traditionally doctors haven't bothered testing for celiac disease until patients are very sick. So of course, people have come to associate celiac disease with being very sick, but it starts much earlier than that. Now, what are the facts about the severity of celiac disease? Well, how do we know that celiac disease really isn't any worse than non-celiac gluten sensitivity? It's because large studies of people with celiac disease have concluded this exact thing. And these studies have taken into account everyone who has been diagnosed with celiac disease, not just the really sick people. And what they found will probably surprise you because these studies have shown that when you look at the entire population of people who have been diagnosed with celiac disease, about half of those were actually classified as asymptomatic. So this means that they weren't super sick. In fact, they didn't even know they had a problem, much less a problem with gluten. Now, why haven't we heard about this before? Well, it doesn't make for a very good story, does it? So when people are totally fine with a disease that isn't really causing any symptoms that they can feel, then there aren't too many people who are especially interested in hearing about that. It's just not a very good story. Oh, hey, I have this disease. Oh, what's your problem? Well, I don't have any problems. Okay, nobody cares, right? So, however, it does increase your risk factors for a bunch of other problems that you might develop sooner or later, like things like osteoporosis or cancer or other autoimmune diseases, or of course, digestive problems and a whole bunch of other things. But for many people, that's just an inconvenient truth, right? Something to worry about later down the road. Now, how bad can non-celiac gluten intolerance be? Well, it can be really bad. I've seen many patients who spend a lot of time in the hospital with severe pain or fatigue or other problems, and they've been so sick that they literally can't function and they end up in the hospital. So those patients were scanned and scoped and had lots of tests and they never came up positive for celiac disease and they were tested for celiac disease. So only later did they find out that they had a non-celiac gluten intolerance. And I'm using those words, uh, loosely, the intolerance and sensitivity, I'm using them interchangeably. We could say it either way, non-celiac gluten intolerance or non-celiac gluten sensitivity. So anyway, these patients, they stopped eating gluten and what? Voila, they were normal and healthy and just fine. So their pain disappeared, their energy returned to normal and they regained their health and they went on with their lives minus of course the gluten. So I've seen this firsthand that non-celiac patients can be just as bad as cases of celiac disease. Where does celiac disease fit in in the realm of gluten intolerance? Well, celiac disease isn't necessarily any worse than non-celiac gluten intolerance. So then how do we think of these two things? So in order to help you place these into context, I like you to think of celiac disease as a symptom, not a cause. And so what I mean by that is, I want you to remember that celiac disease is an autoimmune condition, right? It's an autoimmune problem that damages the small intestine, and that is triggered by gluten. So when you stop eating gluten, you heal up, and the autoimmune problem actually resolves. So gluten is the cause, not celiac disease. Celiac disease is the result. So, and gluten can cause lots of problems, not just celiac disease, right? So this is what happens in non-celiac gluten sensitivity. You get other symptoms, but you don't get this autoimmune condition of celiac disease. So think of celiac disease as one of the symptoms that you can get when you have a reaction to gluten. And here's a small portion of that list of possibilities. And notice that celiac disease is one of the things 
on that list, right? Why is this important? Now, the reason that I feel that this is such an important message is because I want people to understand that non-celiac gluten sensitivity can be very severe and can cause just as many problems as bad cases of celiac disease. So over the years, I've lost count of the number of people who've told me that they were glad that they didn't have celiac disease because in their minds, they didn't have to take it as seriously and be as careful about avoiding gluten because, of course, celiac disease is so much worse, right? Well, I was unable to convince them otherwise, or maybe I was unable to get past that other messaging that they had heard about non-celiac gluten sensitivity not being as significant as celiac disease. And so it's pained me to watch them suffer from all kinds of health problems because they would continue to cheat and eat gluten. So I just want people to be healthy. And I hope that watching this will help you to live a healthier life. If that happens, then I'll be happy. Now, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more information about how you can improve your health. Do you think that you might have a non-celiac gluten sensitivity?